once Nigerians are ready and they are determined to mean you, yes. if you like, come after them one million times, they will stand their ground. They won't, they won't go back. back. Mm -hmm. They will always come back. But they, but they have to be ready for it. They have to mean it. And the only thing that has pushed them to that wall is this hunger. I mean, it's hunger. People, people are, are hungry. I've never faced this kind of hardship before. Yes, no, no. Hardship. We've, we've all been through a lot while we were growing up. To so those of us yes. who grew up in Nigeria, right? So you, nobody should explain yes. what it was like to face hardship. But people who are witnessing, exactly. we, we witness those then. And those who are witnessing this mm -hmm. one are saying, this is different, my brother. Like everybody, they feel them, including those. Who exactly. Were like well to do. They are worried. Mm -hmm. like this should continue like yes. This. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you are abroad, like some of us are. It doesn't matter. Your people are back home. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. But your people are back home. Whatever, whatever economy challenges they are facing, you are equally facing it yeah. because you're sending money back home. Exactly. People need to. It's understand. a must. Uh -huh. If we are buying, if they are buying Gary one cup for. 1,000 or 2,000, whatever. Yeah. You are sending the money to buy it. So it, you're equally contributing to it. That's right. As it's affecting you too. So uh -huh. as inflation is hitting the yeah. family, as the uh, members of the families, those ones who are graduates and still looking for a job, those ones who have jobs that can exactly. lead themselves, majority of them, we have them in our families. And majority mm -hmm. of us cannot look away when we hear that they are in pain of something you can't Why are we pretending nobody is feared yeah you mm -hmm, you can't you can't watch your parents hungry no it's not possible no. you can't watch your blood sisters and blood brothers hungry no. they're not see at a point you have people telling you to buy the food stuff and give them they're not asking you for the money again they want money. Uh -huh. they're only telling you they don't want money please buy me rice buy me gary buy me this they're no longer asking you for the money like, so you, nigerians have never gone through this phase it's just food we want food food yeah yeah so we've never gone through this kind of hardship before no. ever no. No. no so that is why i feel there's no way we can say okay the protest is not going to work okay what are we going to do you know, are we going to sit down and continue looking actually like you know everybody says we need to come to, we need to stand up we need okay stand up to do what some people are standing now encourage you know them. what please <laughs> encourage them whether they are going to we have to do something Rich or not you let's just do something you know the, the more we go come after these things the more we go into these things yeah. the the better we become you know the more experience we get yes. automatically what's happening in SAS, we people already know that things like that happen yes. you know and i like what the kenyans did if you watch some of them were those that were wearing the nose masks and everything because they're going to come first with a tear gas they were still protected yes. so if people are going to on the ground provide so, um, stuff like that yes. for the people that are going to be at the forefront mm -hmm. at least let them get something to protect themselves first then we progress and see how it goes still let me tell you my ego if we keep quiet you see the moment we see them coming out we shouldn't kind of mm. be expecting perfection okay let's give Thank courage you. to those who are going to first come out and those who are going to watch them and say oh, we are joining them tomorrow and the moment we realize that uh, mm -hmm. it's becoming organized enough, please, please, we must open our wallet. Yeah. They will need this support. They will need of, this support. Definitely. For sure. For sure. For sure. They can't. Mm -mm. God bless you. That is when the abroadians will come in. That's where we come That in. is when our That's cash will come in. Hey. And we're pushing our funds to yes. sustain them. And but we can't be here and be there at the same time. The embassies of all these countries and tell them they are killing them at home. Thank you. Yes, so we all know we all have our roles to play. Not everybody will be at the forefront, mm -hmm. okay? And we shouldn't sit down yeah. and just think it's not going to happen because we don't. I mean, we believe yeah. we can fail. I mean, if you don't try something, how do you know you're going to fail? You have to try something first. Exactly. So be willing mm -hmm. to fail. We try. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. about failing, you know? At, at all. We try. We come back stronger. Yes. That is it. Bless when they thought they were going to kill the spirit of Biafran, but the Biafran has not died till date. They, they still come back stronger. Yes. You know? So thank you so much, my ego. Thank you, too. I like you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, and you have a good one, all right?
So I will come back with uh, you too. Bye. Links, you know, on those links. Hopefully, I have something to share. Right. Okay. Stay safe, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Bye. Ma you too. So I have another caller, but there's something I'm going to remind us of. Okay, please. Uh, if you haven't really liked this broadcast, please do like it. It does help. I don't want to pay Google 500, 1,000, 2,000 pounds just because I want to promote my, this message. You can do that for me. You've been doing that for me. You've been doing it for years now. And it's so simple, right? Like the broadcast, share it wide, and just leave the rest to posterity. Hmm? The message you find is an audience when you spread it across enough, okay? Thank you. And again, to every one of us who might be touched. Eh? Uh, Celia, I, I'm still looking at some messages. It looks scary that you got, you said you, were, you got charged that much, okay? I promise you, okay? You are going to get all of that back in your bank, except for the first one you did, okay? So don't worry. I know how that feels like, oh, $170,000. Oh, $170, oh, no. Don't worry, you get your money back. Like, back, back. If it's not back right now, then it should be back uh, probably first in the Monday. Don't worry. It won't, it's not coming here. There is another card. <coughs> Hello. Hello, oh, Michael. It's Adiola speaking now. That's, uh, that's Adiola. Adiola, uh, this evening. So. Uh, well. I'm very well. I'm not going to waste too much time tonight because, you know, I think some years ago I, I saw this thing coming that poverty will be the driver. And I said it before that poverty will be dri the driver that will drive people out because that is the only correcting tool that will correct this anomaly. Because when people are still, you know, prosperous in different pockets, then is then is a harder conversation to have. But when people, you plunge them into poverty, all these things are inevitable. Did they think that this will not happen? They thought it once they start sharing rice. Eh? <laughs> they will just forget it and move on. They'll forget it, Abby. After one bag of rice, they will yeah. forget it, Abby. Yeah. <laughs> so what will be the sustenance afterwards? See, this see, the, the chicken has come home to roost. Yes. All those things is the outcome of all the impunity they are doing. So we are here. To face the outcome. This is the outcome. You know, you know, you know, you cannot keep on ruling people and subjugating them and think there are no outcomes. These are the outcomes. These are the outcomes that we should expect that people would at some point rise and take their own case into their own hands and drive their own future. Because see, my go, even if this doesn't happen now. Even if it doesn't hold or whatever might happen, they will try to, to, to stop it or, 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 or public curtail it. Try? Uh, no, they but can't. You see something? They are only the only worry it. that people should say, nobody should worry whether it's going to happen or not anymore. It is going to happen. 100% it's going, it's to, going happen. to happen. Okay. Now, what you should be worried about now is, yes. ah, would they break them, the one or two or three? Or they mm -hmm. will outlast or outlive these guys, when it kicks off, uh -huh. then that one uh -huh. we can both worry together about it. Okay. Uh -huh. hmm. Go on. Uh -huh. So you're up, you're hundred percent right. M my own school of thought is just based on the fact that even if they try to 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 hamper it or delay it, it will still happen again. This is my point. So even if they want to thwart it or they or, or they succeed at this point in time, it will still come back and happen again. Because those outcomes are inevitable. Hmm. So even if you, you try to derail it to, you know, temporarily or whatever you are trying to do, it will still come back again. Those outcomes have to have to come to pass. They are still doing there has to be a correction. Again. So what, what, what would you yes. expect? So, so, so it's only if, you know, something happens, you know, there's a miracle whereby they, you know, you know, they cut their salaries, you know, change the constitution, go back to our constitution, old constitution and try to, but we know that's not going to happen, my God. We all know that they will not, a, a leopard will not change, change the sports. You will not change anything. They will keep on stealing and people keep on getting poorer. So the outcome of this government for every Nigerian is not prosperity. 
So let us be very clear. So the moment we are very clear on, on those outcomes, then we know what we are facing. Because these people, they are borrowing, they are plunging people to poverty, they are looking for a way to, to steal. So when you, when you defraud people and you take away their resources, you don't expect them to prosper. So if, if, if you think anyone or the, or, or, or the vast majority will prosper under any leadership, this country is producing, then you, you then you are Deluded. then you are misguided. You are misguided because they they would keep on stealing. So if they steal okay. and rob you, you, you can't get richer. Eh? You can't get richer, this, and uh, you, hospital going to build they can't do anything. Or jobs are going to create themselves. It's impossible. They can't create themselves you because even the, things, it, eh? because the government can't create jobs. They can only create an an, an, enabler, oh, exactly. an enabler environment for people to thrive. Putting policies. Putting, putting, putting laws that work. Mm -hmm. Rule of law that you know there's rule of law, you know the judicial system works, but we know that they're incapable of doing it. It is not in their DNA. You know some people is in their DNA. Naturally, it, it, it is part of their. Right. And feel bad what when, is they right. to, when they do what is right wrongly, they feel so bad. I want to correct it, but this one, yes. their DNA is. Is not there. So if you examine their DNA, their, their genetic makeup, mm -hmm. when they're looking for the genetic material for poverty, for poverty, accountability, transparency, it's not it's not there again, it's missing. It is absolutely not there. Yes. Hmm. So when you check the, the DNA strand of all these leaders and you're looking for poverty, accountability, you know, you know, you, you know, you, you, know you, you can't find it there. So if you can't find it there. Let this it movement did, go on. It didn't day. It, it, it day. So this is the correcting tool. This is this part of the correcting tool that we will need to correct the excesses. Because I will just say this and I'll just go, you know. That's right. So you can only do it for so long. You can't perpetuate your this crime to eternity. No. This is not in perpetuity. No. So the end has come on. Regardless of what they tick, see, talk, tick, talk, ah, Baba, the, you know, uh -huh. after this protest, you will start seeing things crumbling. You will start seeing infighting. You will see infighting. You will see a lot of infighting in their camp. You know, in their camp, you will see a lot of people casting themselves out. You see a lot of people, in, you know, fighting. Yes, this, this is the outcome we're looking for, people to rise up because they've plunged people from poverty to extreme poverty, from people that were in, in fragile middle class to poverty. So people are even in, ex, I'm, I'm not sure if you can now call it extreme, extreme poverty. <laughs> it's called extreme, like extreme, nation. extreme poverty. It's, 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 you know, it's about 3D, 4D poverty. Okay. Everywhere you go, it's poverty, okay. poverty, poverty, poverty. Yeah, anybody now join Baba, and say, we need to fight and you know no 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 what you are doing is that you are trying to save them from what is coming are you not tired mm -hmm. of what you are facing that's my own question to those people who they won't like stop the they won't stop stealing so all the money they're meant to use to invest in human capital mm -hmm. is not going to go to human capital development mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, 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 they won't pass laws because that law they are because you are using is fraud it, it, it's a, so the outcome of this government as long as we are clear that they are incapable of doing it. They don't have the, the you know, you know, the, in, 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 the mind to do it. The, yeah. The genetic formation of that, or uh, the idea, it, as you put it. They just ineptitude. Yeah. Ineptitude. You know, you know, see, when, when you grow up and you were growing up to do a particular task, to transform, to make wealth, so when you get to a, a particular level, you, you, you can replicate it. You are asking someone, that has not been able to, to do this task. You're asking them to replicate it. Okay. You're asking for magic now. Someone that has never ruled with transparency before, you're asking them to just, okay, overnight, oh, oh I want you to govern. It, they, don't, they, they don't understand what it takes to rule with transparency and accountability. You're asking someone that grew up under a fraudulent system to over, or, or to, oh, you're asking them to perform magic. How is he going to How is he gonna you, do that? Because, you want them to perform magic, someone that is used to getting kickbacks, uh -huh. that is used to selling relationships. So, so if you want to do the way, make money is okay, fine. I know the governor, I, 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 I want to do this to the governor. 
they, they will get a court. Someone that that is their modus operandi. That is what they know how to. That's how they know how to create wealth. That's and you are asking him. That's how they made their the wealth. Want them to suddenly and you are asking them. Else. How? You asking for magic now? Hocus pocus. Abagadabra. Baba. Good night, sir. Sir. Bless you, sir. And you too. You have a good night. Okay. Thank you so much. I think I found out uh, what happened to Celia's uh, money. Celia was making donation on PayPal and making donation on money. I'm mean, sorry, GoFundMe too. Now I have found uh, two donations made this evening. So that simply means it's true. You had about three transactions taken from your bank. Now here is something you can do. You see that up there, uh, GoFundMe. Eh? There is going to be, I think there is, from the confirmation sent to you, after they took that donation, right? Where they will say, if you change your mind, something like that, right? You can cancel it, even though it's going to take about 30 days for the money to come back to your bank. I advise you go and cancel that off. Uh, go fund me. Let me show you. I found them. Go and cancel these two, okay? And you have the money back. Even though GoFundMe won't give it, won't give me the money until like about five days now, okay? But if you do it this evening, check that email you received. Uh, you should be able to, uh, yeah, you should be able to cancel them. See, you are here, Celia, 40 pounds. And I bet that's like a 50 or $60. And here is another one, 45 pounds, Celia. And I bet that's like about $60, $70 again. So all that money, you can cancel this too. I already got your uh, 30 or so dollars, $29, or, I mean, sorry, 29 pounds on PayPal. So what you have to do is now cancel this too. You'll get your money back. And I, I'm not sure if they are going to not, if they're going to have the charges, you know. They may not give you back the charges, okay? Or cancel it right now. Do that now. All right? And you will have the money back in your bank by Tuesday. Try that. Uh -huh. Try it now. Cancel it. So I got the order one, okay? I'm taking my last call now uh, for tonight. So if you choose uh, to uh, support this, uh, God bless you. Agunobi, my brother. God bless you. I got your message. So I didn't even know that uh, our people are already on, uh, what do you call it, on GoFundMe. So we have already raised, how much on GoFundMe? Let's see, from today. So when we take a Celia's at night, I mean, 85 pounds out, we are still left with, today, oh, we are still left with, uh, oh, Maruf, sir, God bless you. God bless you. So I have uh, Daniel Olateju. See, we still have uh, 167 pounds, yeah? Uh, we have uh, 500 pounds on PayPal. And then we have uh, 200 pounds in the bank. See, I've almost raised a thousand. God will bless all of you, my donor. Uh, he fans me. Uh, he fans me. God bless all of you. <laughs> Charm. See me. <laughs> There's this guy on TikTok, okay? It's called Shallow. And he fans me, he fans me, raise it, raise it for me, please. And he fans me. Thank you so much, my fans. And my fans, oh, yeah, yeah, my fans, my fans, like that. And these fans were so generous, right? And I would just sit down and I watch, I'm like, this guy is so hilarious. And he, he, I'm grateful to every one of you, though, okay? How are you this evening, Charm? I'm fine, thank you, my good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Wow, I'm, I've been listening, you know, thank you so much for everything that you do. I'll, I'll never stop thanking you because I know what I've gained by joining, by being part of this uh, platform. Oh, it, you know, I've been part of it for a while. And yeah, that's how we roll. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I was, you know, like, and I called yesterday regarding this protest. And, and I think the only reason why I'm calling today, because Michael, you said it all. You know, I don't know what else we can add about our corrupt leaders. We know they're corrupt and we know that they need to go or that the, the infrastructures are, are, are bad or non-existent. And you don't even know how to, to qualify what it is that we have. We actually say they should go. 
Is it going to be the health? Exactly. Uh, is it going to be the yeah. human right? Is it going to be security? <laughs> what exactly are we going to lose? There, there, there's nothing that we're going to lose by asking this bunch of criminals to, to just... I think that's you know, the only thing we'll lose. We'll lose our chains. If we chase it, them. Um, and if we, exactly, you know. And I... There's somebody making a comment in the, you know, stating something in the comment section about how, you know, um, if Afri if we don't get the protest right, you know, there'll be really colonization down the line and everything. I don't know, you know, I know that our people are hungry, my ego, and I know that our people are dissatisfied, you know, with regards to the things that are going on in that country or in that region. But I want to say that. I'm not even sure it's I'm not even sure it's clear exactly what they're fighting for. And I say that because everything that we're going through, everything that we've gone through as a people, as a region, is is as a result of the indirect um uh how would I put it, influence of the establishment. Right, we've been we've been lied to and said that we've been given a democracy. You and I know we don't. This is not a democracy, right? We've been lied to and told that this is a country. You and I know that this is not a country, right? We've been we've been lied to and told that we we are citizens of a place, you know, and that we have what every other person 